How accurate have reports been about the potential consequences of the government's workplace relations reforms? How will the government's policy to close labour hire loopholes affect workers? I give the call to the Minister for Employment, Workplace Relations and the Minister for the Arts. Thanks very much, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Morton for the question. And he, he may be surprised to learn that the fear campaigns last time were completely wrong and the fear campaigns this time happened to be wrong again. Order. What we saw Order. today, what we saw today with the employment figures really says it all. I remember when Secure Jobs Better Pay was being debated last year and we were being told by those opposite that it would, that it would be a bad outcome for jobs. Well, today, Order. And they also, claimed, they also claimed that, that it wouldn't deliver what we were saying it would deliver for gender equality. Well, what we see now, when you change the laws in ways such as Minister Rishworth is doing with paid Order. parental leave, such as, what, such as what Senator Gallagher is doing with implementing the Respect at Work recommendations, what this House did Order. with the Secure Jobs Better Pay changes, improving flexibility and improving pay equity laws, we now start to see the changes in the workforce. We have not what they predicted, we have today record employment. We have today record employment for Order. women. We have Never today agree. record women's participation. And when you look at what has happened over, the last, over that last period, where has the employment growth come from? 49 per cent of total employment growth is women moving into full-time jobs. That's what happens when you change the law. But not to be deterred, they, we now see a new fear campaign, a new fear campaign about the, closing the labour hire loophole. First of all, we heard with one company claiming billions of dollars it would cost them, even though the policies they were assuming had not yet been determined. We then had an ad campaign based on a policy that was not the government's, not being contemplated by the government, not being contemplated by any government in the world, possibly a bit North Korean, but no one else. And yesterday we saw a headline claiming that the IR reforms will blast a hole with a multi-billion dollar figure attached, based on new modelling that had been done. So we asked the modelling company could we Order. see it. They said no. We asked the Minerals Council whether we could see it, and it arrived after I got it yesterday, but not in time for question time. And we went through what of our policies they'd modelled. Had they modelled labour hire loophole? Nope. Had they modelled our changes to the gig economy? Nope. Had they modelled criminalising wage theft, multi-employer bargaining? Nope. They actually hadn't modelled a single labour policy. They had simply invented what would it look like if you took 1 per cent out of the economy, out of productivity, and yeah, it would look bad. But for the people's pay packets who are suffering Order. from this loophole, it means they'll be paid properly.